The Great Awakening was so powerful that it changed the political sector and it also changed the social, se social sector. When people get right with God, it affects every area of life. When we vote for the right president, which we need to do, we're only focusing on one area of life. And really, that one area of life doesn't always affect the entire world. Right now, it impacts us more directly than anything else. But when we get a hold of God, when real revival comes, it not only changes us spiritually, but it changes the world socially, it changes the world politically. Right. When God's people really seek his face and allow God to change them, then our world changes. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will, I, and will forgive their sin and will heal their way. Through the years, we've heard this verse repeated over and over and over for revival. Throughout 2020, we've heard this verse repeated over and over and over. And the question's been posed, why aren't we seeing any change? And it probably comes back to God's people don't want to humble themselves. They may seek his face a little bit, but they don't want to humble themselves. And specifically, they don't want to turn from their wicked ways. Because those are part of the requirements for God to hear, hear us and heal our way. Sister Kathy, do you mind praying for me this morning? What we really need is the reign of revival in our own lives. And we can't control, obviously, what our spouse does. But we can't control what the church down the street does. We can't control what the church across the street does. We can't control what anybody does that claims that they're Christian, even if they don't act like it. But when someone sees the real deal, when someone sees someone that's truly on fire for God, that has a real relationship with them, there's no denying it. That they've been a whole of the altar, horns of the altar, that God is prevalent in their life. And while I can't do, force you to do anything, and you can't force me to do anything, we need to check our own lives. Say, God, send me the revival. Send me the rains of revival. Let it saturate my soul more than ever before. God, change me. Let me not be the same, but let it begin in me. As we enter into a new year, I believe God has good things for this church. But I believe that God's waiting for our people that he may send for revival upon our heart. If that's the desire of your heart this morning, God, search me and know me. God, let revival come to my life. Let me allow it to change me.